Hi, hello, how are you? My name is Fleet Psyker and I bring you another after stream review. This time it's Metro Exodus. The series itself is close to my heart, so I hope you will enjoy what I'm about to tell you. Only the good stuff. Now, without further ado, let's go. <laughs> Metro Exodus takes what's the best from previous installments and improves on it significantly. Guns feels much heavy and realistic, from a shotgun handgun to a frame throw where you can find and wreak havoc within the world. RPG elements also have been improved, scavenging for materials or dismantling weapons to find new upgrades for your equipment, from gun upgrades to outfit modification and material creations like grenades, ammo or knives. Just so the game won't be too much for you when it comes to crafting, you can craft some things on the go rather than finding crafting tables just like in the previous games. When it comes to exploring, apart from finding materials, you can find interesting points of view which will have puzzles or side quests you can attend, which can change the ending of the current chapter you are playing through. Be careful what you're doing. The world has been split into areas and each area offers its own interesting take on the game itself. Each chapter is a new area to explore which follows a narrative. Mostly it is up to us what we are gonna do in the area we are currently in. We are starting in the metro as always, but the story narrative becomes quickly less linear and more convoluted so we have freedom of what we are doing and can explore until we decided that we had enough. Carefully designed maps like swamps of Volga train depot with cultists on the rise and a giant catfish god who isn't very friendly. No! Or the scorching deserts of Caspian Sea with very dangerous individuals who struggle to fight for power and enslave people because they can. Even the forests full of bandits and so-called pirates who used to be children when the bombs fell and they had to survive on their own with their teacher as the only adult figure. The more we traverse through the world and story, the game becomes less linear until we reach the end, which basically puts us back to following the plot and makes us understand that this is the end. Artyom has retired and got married to Colonel's daughter, Anna. I guess she finally accepted his strength. Since the War of 46 and freeing the Dark Ones, Artyom has found redemption. However, he still has that obsession to find life outside of Metro. People call him Madman, but he follows this crazy dream and wants to find life outside the suffocating tunnels of the Metro. That dream becomes reality, finding that the Moscow Central has been lying to them all the time and now facing treason, Artyom and his wife Anna need to leave the Metro, along with her father and the remaining Spartan soldiers. So they stole the train, named it Aurora, and left Moscow to find their new home. Through the swamps of Volga, full of cultists and mutants, dusty plains at Caspian Sea with limited water resources, and a crazy dictator with power struggle, up to even tiger forests with survivors whose intelligence stopped at the elementary level of education. Atiom and his team will face these places, try to find answers, and possibly a place they can call home at the end. Life in Metro is no more. Expansion Pass has gifted us two new stories, one long and one short, so let's start with the short one. Two Colonels follows the story of Novosibirsk military, how long they have survived in the Metro and their downfall. Story takes place one year before Artyom and Miller show up in the sea to find a cure. Our main protagonist is named Slava Klebnikov, father of Kirill, the boy we found in Novosibirsk. The story revolves around Slava's last months until the downfall of the whole metro because people didn't have their anti-rad medicine. The story also follows Miller a bit, only in cinematic. It does mirror Miller's past and how he has changed up until now. Pretty good narrative and gives us more depth of, of these characters. The bigger DLC is about Sam. If you finish the main story, you know that Sam is an American soldier who got stuck in the metro and was recruited by Miller to his ranger squad. Inspired by Artyom, he decided to try to go back to America to find his father in hope that he is still alive and maybe spend some final years with him before he passes away. The expansion gives us an open world again for us to explore and have fun with, with funny with side quests to action-packed moments to fight mutants or bandits, even puzzles if you can't find them that is. Also a pretty cool addition is that both of these DLCs have voiced main characters so that's nice hearing their opinions and conversations with other NPCs. The third installment of Metro keeps on giving the good stuff, so it will be a shame to entirely miss it, especially if you're a fan of Eastern European shooters, just like Escape from Tarkov or Stalker series. Metro, as far as I know, never has failed me. 
apart from that one epic exclusivity deal they did one month before the release date on Steam. So yeah, but that's just pretty much it. Thank you for watching my after stream review of Metro. If you survived till the very end, thank you so much again. You're the real MVP. Until next time, goodbye.